morning. I am in the best mood today. Nothing is going to dampen my mood. <laughs> the sun is so lovely. It's so warm outside. We get a few days of sun and look what happens. All my freckles come out. They break free. I've changed my big fluffy M&S dressing gown and um, I just got a new white company one, which is a lot thinner. So I had the best news yesterday. And well, I had a bit of a roller coaster 48 hours because I was emotional anyway, because I'd got off a flight. So there's like a, one stray hair that just keeps wanting to say hello. And I got off a flight, I'd watched The Greatest Showman, the film, twice, very emotional, very amazing, but I just like couldn't stop crying listening to the theme tune. Then I had this news, which I'm going to tell you about after I've got ready. Then it wasn't happening, and it had fallen apart, and I was crying. Then it was happening again, then it wasn't, and then finally now, I think it is happening. So I wanted to do a little bit of a life update video today, because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that the past four or five weeks have been absolutely crazy, insanely crazy busy for me traveling because I've been away mainly for either weddings or hen do's or work so I've been to Barcelona and Devon, London, China and then going to Italy so it's been crazy and I've had about sometimes just either an evening or 24 to 48 hours to turn everything around get ready and pack for the next trip so I wanted to do a kind of follow me around vlog and update you with the news I have and then a few other bits as well I love living in this house but it is like a madhouse I need to just close the door and have quiet like dogs running around the gate is going with deliveries gardener with the leaf blower like filming anything here is quite the challenge so I have all my stuff in my little travel bag got back really late last night so everything I took away with me is in my airport bag um, and I'm not going to bother unpacking because I'm going away in two days so I'm just going to keep it all in the same case and to be honest on a day like today I probably wouldn't put any makeup on I'd just give my skin a rest because I've already started breaking out I think probably from the flight and traveling but I need to put a little bit on because I'm doing um, a main channel video in a second so I'm going to start with some skincare and I'm going to use my Olay Total Effects Anti-Aging Moisturiser SPF 30 I took this to Barcelona with me. I need to clean this. This has been very well used. I went to Barcelona with 13 girls on a hen party and it was amazing. It's been on a boat, it's been in our bedroom getting ready because we only had those tiny bags each and when we got to the airport we all had to like sacrifice things and lose it because we bought too much stuff. So a lot of the girls were using this as well and I've been using it um, just to try it out and see how I like it. We had two days I think of cloud in Barcelona but I still took an SPF because I still like, I have literally the fairest skin with freckles and obviously you still get the UV rays through clouds so you still have to wear it when it's cloudy. So I was quite excited about trying this because the last video that I did I made the announcement saying I was an Olay ambassador and how excited I was and I was talking all about the skin advisor and I literally have never laughed so much at the end because mum, and I'm not, so many of you guys tried it, but mum, basically she's 60 next year and her skin age came out at 47. So my mum and um, stepdad were having a bit of a competition, but genuinely the only reason her skin looks that good is because she has worn SPF like her whole life. So when I knew the next video we were doing was SPF, I was like, this is actually genuinely a good one to do because if I'm being completely honest here, I hate moisturisers with SPF in. And the reason why is because I usually find them very thick and very heavy and sticky. And I am so lazy and often I don't wear SPF for that reason. And I know that because I've just turned 30, now is the time that my skin is gonna start aging. And UV is the number one cause of skin aging. So if I don't start using this bad boy and liking one of them, then my skin is not gonna look like my mum when I'm 59 so this one I was like right I'm going to take it away with me and I'm going to try it and this is my favorite moisturizer Olay do because it's very very light yes they have put in SPF 
and it hasn't made it any, like it doesn't feel any different. And I was so worried when I got to Barcelona that it would be really thick and greasy and horrible. And it was so nice and it was just lovely under my makeup and it just felt really lightweight. I am so glad that they have put that UVA and UVB protection in a product that is already a hero product rather than making like a completely different one that's quite thick. So I just pop that on under my makeup. Hopefully my skin age is gonna be better from doing this every day. It's just, I use it as my normal moisturizer. I don't have to bother now putting another SPF on. And then because I have a little bit of color already, I'm gonna use my NARS Luminous Foundation and then my MAC Strobing, which I've been using every day and just mixing it so it like, gives you a little bit of a glow. I was really nervous about going on this hen party and for the weddings in May. I just mix like that, by the way. But because um, when you have been planning your own wedding and hen do, it's quite weird going to someone else's. And I was, to be honest, a little bit nervous that I would get a bit upset. I don't know if this is a really weird thing to say, but when you're really looking forward to something and it, and it sort of doesn't go the way that you planned, it was quite difficult to sort of prep myself to to go to someone else's and it I have to say it was so lovely and I was just really lucky that I was with such a nice group of girls that were so sweet and obviously they knew like sort of that I just had a breakup from my engagement so I kind of had to get to the point where I was like I have to move on and just whatever I'm feeling not let it um, take away the enjoyment of going to other things, especially when they're such close friends. Watching someone on a Hindu or in a wedding dress or planning it can be quite hard when you've gone from planning it. And actually I was really surprised at how I didn't feel that at all and I really felt like I perhaps made a bit of a step forward. I'm just going to do a little bit of concealer and mascara so I'm looking down to my mirrors there. That's what I feel quite proud of this month that I have started to do a lot more and I'm going to be doing a lot more and it's not stopping me from doing things like perhaps it was before. Comment below if any of you guys have ever been in that situation where you perhaps going through something and then you're going to things that remind you of it and how you deal with it and how it makes you feel. And I think the sunshine helps as well, doesn't it? Just when, as soon as it becomes sunnier, everyone just feels better. And that's what it looks like. So I don't even notice the SPF underneath because it doesn't make my makeup look any different. Whereas usually it would be so thick, like it looked like a greasy mess. So yeah, I love it. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the Astral Cocoa Butter on as well because Literally, I don't know how they get it to smell that good. I've been tanning because I'm going away and I've got weddings and obviously the hen do and stuff and my skin gets so dry and they do a blue one, like the original blue and white, but they've just bought the cocoa butter one out, which if you love cocoa butter, it's just so rich. My skin is so dry with fake tan. I don't know why it dries out that badly. Maybe it was the sun as well. Okay, so I have to do some photos now. So I'll probably just film like a behind the scenes and show you guys how I film my photos. I've just laid everything out because this is all the stuff. I have about two videos and five photos that I need to take before I go. So I've got everything ready because this is the hardest part about going away and traveling. I have to try and shoot everything before I go. So I've got some flowers ready. So some of the pictures are really pretty. Um, my camera, my tripod, and then a tea because I have like five hours to get all this done and I need some power energy. <laughs> I've started breakfast way too late today, but uh, I was so hungry, so I've got some porridge, my juice, and yay, my health box arrived. I tweeted about this, this is the Holland and Barrett health box service, because I take so many vitamins. This one basically, you just fill in a guide online and they send you all the things that you need to take. I think this is a little bit more affordable to do this. And they've sent me some ginseng, which I know I need, vitamin C, I already take that, so good cranberry which i guess is very good for you and then vitamin d which i'm not taking and i need it's like a beauty box but for vitamins 
every month. So I'm hoping this makes me kind of get to the point where I want to health-wise. So I'm working on my immunity at the moment and also my diet, which is like the two main things for me at the moment, like making sure my immune system is better and then helping me be more in control of like the nutrients that I'm having. I've come to edit my video in um, my favorite room of mum's house. She has like this lounge where she has the big white shutters. I don't know if I've ever showed you this room before, but all the light pools and it's just like the lightest, brightest room with a little piano and um, sofas. So I love it. So I thought I'd have a little chat to you in here. So I have found a new home and it's all happened a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to happen and yesterday I kind of got the green light that it's 99.9% .9 sure that it's going through. Basically I just woke up one day and I wasn't even really looking because I didn't think I was going to be ready to move just yet and I stumbled across this teeny tiny house that reminds me kind of where I used to live ages ago. Do you remember the cottage? And it's so small and it's so cute. And I showed my friends and they were like, are you crazy? Like, are you crazy? It's so tiny, but it's perfect. It's exactly what me and B need. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all my furniture. I'm probably gonna have to sell it all because literally not even my bed is gonna fit in there. I'll show you guys where I'm storing it and um, you'll see what I mean because it's not gonna fit. If you've ever bought a house before, you'll know that you can't get like seriously excited until you actually have the keys in your hand because anything can fall apart at any time. B and I can make it our home. I'm already excited about all the things that I can do in it and just to make it mine and to have my own space back again and to start this new chapter in a place that just felt so right. The only thing that I was a little bit nervous about is living on my own because I have never lived on my own. I know this sounds really sad and I'm 30 years old and I'm like, I've never lived on my own before, but I genuinely have never lived on my own. I feel that I am in a very happy place right now with myself um, or a much better place here with mum. And so moving is gonna be a big thing as it is for anyone, especially moving in on your own. So I'm gonna put some things in place to make sure I have everything organized, everything positive, everything focused. Oh. It's so windy and sunny. Bring you down the side. This is where all my stuff is kept. Ooh, spider. I will not miss those, the new house. Okay, no joke. This is my whole house in this room. Tea chest. <laughs> yes, that I'm not, I cannot leave that behind. Mattresses, beds, boxes. Like, guys, what on earth? <laughs> I'm probably only going to be able to fit a sofa bed and then like a little double bed but I really love it and it doesn't matter about material things in your life you just have to let go start fresh <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself anyway so bless her mum she's been storing it for me in the garage I'm going to keep you guys updated of course as it goes along but it's going to happen quite quickly I think I'm going out for dinner now with my mum to catch up with her because I find that when I'm traveling a lot I don't get to see her so I try and spend some time with her. I mean I'm probably going to take the dogs as well to a little dog friendly pub. Is this what happens when mama sees that I've ordered something? She's like <laughs> oh I'll have it. Vitamin C with 1500 milligrams that's really good. You love your vitamins don't you mum? Totally on it. Becky so. Oh my god you've got your own um, personal one. Yeah. Where's mine? Well, you have to sign up to it, Mum. Foods that can ease your hay fever symptoms. Here are. This is the one for me. Do you get hay fever? Yeah, really bad. Um, green tea. Avoid spices and alcohol. That's going to be a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a doggy pub date. It's like taking the kids out. It's so, but they're so naughty when we take them out. It's hilarious. We're jumping up with Mama Hen in the bright pink. Yeah. Look at her. She's like, give me the pink. What have you gone for, Scampy? I've gone for a very fat thing, bad boy, chips and scampi. But you got a good skin, mum, so that's an 47 year old. Well, I eat salad and good things most of the time, but occasionally you have a treat, baby. That's me. And I've gone for the lemon sole, so I'm starving. I will love you and leave you guys. We're going to eat, have some food, take the naughty puppies home, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.